right so that's the end of day two um for two in the box so that's you know not too bad he's not doing too badly he's not rick waller times three so we've still got you know there's still a game <laughs> to play um i had a quick look at tim this morning before i left for work and he was awake even though the lights were off and he was not loving this massively to be honest um I think 12 hours is quite a long time to be asleep, especially if you're not doing a lot during the day. So I think it will go one of two ways. He'll either just get used to the fact that, you know, that this is the way it is, and he will start to be able to sleep straight through until the lights come on, or he won't, and he'll continue to get really agitated by this, and it will start to pose him a problem then, because he'll get tired and it will break up his routine. So fingers crossed that he does just sort that out. I mean, he can be lazy when, I want to, when he wants to, so now will be the time to utilise that. Um, talking of utilising stuff, he actually used a bit of his engineering background today to some use. He had his food, but it was it had got cold and he didn't want to eat it cold, and he was fussing about it like a bit of girl pants. But he decided that he could use. There's a um, a light on the ceiling in the box that yesterday he was saying was kicking out quite a lot of heat. So he used that to actually heat his food up, which was quite clever. So I was pleased because it shows he's keeping his brain sort of engaged and active. So that was good. Um, another thing that's taken up his day-to-day, -day, <laughs> oh, it's such a him thing to do as well, is he doesn't want to have poo. He really needs to and he doesn't want to. So toilet-based conversations, ideas, have basically taken over a lot of today. Um, he was talking about some ridiculous idea of putting super noodles, you know, like the, the dried noodles, um, into the toilet of a girlfriend um, so that then she might think she had some kind of worms or something like that, some terrible thing. Um, all sorts of things like that. And he also, some person, uh, somebody that he did mention today was his friend Numpsy, um, who apparently holds the record for wearing the same pair of pants for the longest which is two weeks, so you know, well done to him for that, but yes, yeah, so he was talking a lot about that, mentioned Numpsy, um, but yeah, that was kind of it really today, oh, apart from the fact I was uh, proved right for the first time, one of many I'm sure, as when I did an interview for The Sun before Tim went in, I said that I thought that one of the first things, one of the first signs that, you know, he was going to crack up a bit was, would be that he was going to start to become paranoid. Well, today Tim took that to the extreme by becoming paranoid about being paranoid. So, ticking the Todd box right there. Um, I hope he sorts that out because he can't crack up already because it's only day two. So, put himself together. Also, he was acting very bizarrely. He started um, pretending to order KFC. Tim doesn't even really eat KFC, let alone pretend KFC. So... Slight concern there. I've not really seen anything like that from him before, but I imagine we're going to see a few more bits like it if, if that's anything to go by. Um, that's pretty much it from me. Apart from to say, we've had hundreds and hundreds of suggestions about what should go in the box and things like that and clues and stuff for tomorrow. And tomorrow's clue will be that something heavy and something scary will be put in the box with Tim. So keep your eyes peeled and we'll soon see what that is and i will speak to you tomorrow for day three all right then night